Individually, please introduce yourself and your title. Christopher Welfel, I'm the works manager here in Seguin. Tony Alvarado, the general foreman of the rolling mill. Chris, you're overseeing everything here at this facility from the receiving of recycled iron to processing it. What has to happen for all this to work to make rebar? A lot goes into steel making. It starts out as the scraps flowing in, um, weighing in, and then distributed over to the shredder. And then we have some that goes out to the yard. Uh, that isn't shreddable. During that whole process, we're bringing materials in. We could see 3,000, 3,500 tons of material come in in a, one day. So as that's coming in, it'll be diverted from the shredder to the yard. Uh, then that material goes to the melt shop. So it, there in the melt shop, we melt it down where it becomes a liquid state, 3,000 degrees. And from there, it goes to the caster where it's brought back to a solid state, to a, what we call a billet. Um, from the billet, it goes over to the roller mill, gets reheated back up, and then it's run through the roller mill to produce that final product, like rebar. Mm -hmm. 